matter how fast you are. No one outruns their past. And mine. Just caught up to me. Been a long time, don't. Now that, you know, the, the Fast and Furious movie is known for defying labels, and now that we've known that the guys are going to space, can you call Fast and Furious a science fiction movie now? Ah, I don't want to die! We tried to really hard to not be labeled as a franchise, and I think we wanted to develop a language. We made a commitment to always try to, like, redefine ourselves. People say it's just a car movie, but for us, it's important to, to know that we're constantly trying to grow. Man, we messing with magnets now? Now that you're back in F9, we can enjoy the other Fast and Furious movies slightly better. Take us through how Justin broke the news to you about your, your coming back. But the fans wanted it, so... Yeah. It's good to be back. You know, there was this campaign to have this justice for Han. It wasn't from us. Justin being smart, you know, took what the fans wanted and, you know, put it into Fast 9, so... It was a great journey to be a part of that. No way. So how do y'all want to play this? Han is back, and because of that, it changes the whole story in Tokyo Drift. And it looks like uh, Han could have his own spin-off in Tokyo, and is that what, you, what was going through in mind? To me, it's always come from the story and the character, and if we're able to earn it, yeah, it'd be fun, you know? And I, I look forward to hopefully continue doing it. Crank it all the way up. Everyone knows about Han's uh, snacking habits. Uh, did that snacking habit spill over to real life? I love snacks. Han loves snacks, Sung loves snacks, so it wasn't really acting. What kind of snacks do you normally go for? Anything with cheese on it. We need help. And good luck to Star Wars. Ah, thank you. May the force be with you.